Hey everyone, Pink Prepper here. I'm not a regular prepper, I'm a cool prepper. I spent $153 at Target stocking up for my prepper pantry. I broke it up into two orders. This is the first order, and the reason I did that is because I took advantage of a promotion going on. If you don't have the Target app, definitely get it. I got a $20 gift card for spending three separate purchases of $75 or more. Here's the first set of items I got in the first order. All of this was on sale or had some type of promotion um, that went along with it in the Target Circle app. I went ahead and labeled everything with the Sharpie with the Best Buy date with the exception of the chips and put it in order from left to right. Oh, I guess I forgot to label the waters, but I was kind of surprised that these were the first things out of everything to have the soonest Best Buy dates. It is October 2021 and one of these cases expires next month in November 2021, December 2021, and then January. I ended up getting all three flavors that they had. This one is berry and has electrolytes. This one is kiwi strawberry, also with electrolytes. And then this one is immune support, um, orange raspberry flavor. I haven't had these Propel waters since they first came out. I was probably in middle school or high school. Um, I do remember liking them. But I honestly bought these just because they were on sale in the Target Circle app. I wanted to add some variety to my water storage in my prepper pantry. But I had no idea the Best Buy dates were coming up so soon. I did the Target pickup, so I probably won't buy those again. Next up, I got some chips. And these and the dips were all part of a, another promotion going on with Target, where you spend so much and that you get a $5 gift card. Now, chips are not your typical prepper food that you will see preppers buying, but you have to keep in mind, I am new on this journey. The shelf life on these are not great, but one thing I am preparing for, which I do believe is imminent, are food shortages at the grocery store. And we do like to munch on chips, so I wanted to get some of those in our prepper pantry. Next up, I got these three Tostitos dips, again, because they're on sale. We typically don't eat these, but I figured it would be a good shelf-stable item to have on hand for, you know, power outages or food shortages. We have had the avocado salsa one before, and it was so good, so I am excited to try these other flavors. I just need to remember to pick up some tortilla chips to eat them with. Next, I got these four things of vitamins. They are for my toddler. Target was also having a sale on these. The one on the left is a pre and probiotic, and the one on the right is just a daily vitamin. And we love this Smarty Pants brand. They have great ingredients. And as you can see, the expiration date isn't until January 2023, so these are definitely a great item to stock up on. We just go through these like crazy, and definitely recommend that product. So there is everything from the first trip to Target. Like I said, I made another trip to take advantage of that sale they were running. And here are the bags from that second trip. I actually spent less money on this trip, but got a lot more stuff. My focus for this trip was to get more shelf-stable items, things that'll last longer. Again, the goal was to stock up my prepper pantry. I am new to all this, so I am learning as I am going. So here is everything I got from my second trip to Target. Unbagged. Again, between this and everything I showed you previously, everything cost $153. Not too bad, all from Target. I went ahead and labeled all the expiration dates and put it in order from left to right in order of expiration with the stuff on the left expiring the soonest and the stuff on the right expiring the latest, if that makes sense. Um, so let's start with the first item. And the reason I put this one first is because it didn't have a expiration date on it. And by expiration date, I keep meaning to say best by date. Um, I do know there's a difference, but I use them improperly, kind of interchangeably. So like I said, I couldn't find a Best Buy date on this. Um, it's just grits, so I'm not too concerned about it, honestly. 
Um, but yes, we did get quick five minute grits. This was after my husband saw the huge pack of grits at Sam's Club. We typically don't have grits on hand, but he wanted to get them, but we're gonna start out small. And this was also on sale at Target. So always great when stuff you wanna stock up on is on sale. The next item was also on sale, so I decided to grab it. A great prep prepper pantry item. Although I was kind of surprised that this doesn't have a Best Buy date of longer. Uh, just some classic trail mix. And I've eaten trail mix that's been kind of stale and it, it was fine. So I'm not too worried about that. The next item I got is this 8 count of individual Annie's Mac and Cheese cups. I picked these up specifically for us to take with us if we ever have to evacuate. I do live in a hurricane zone and evacuation zone A. So that means that we are the first ones, if there's an evacuation, to have to evacuate. Most likely we will end up in a hotel and these are nice and light and portable. So I thought these would be great for our evacuation bags. I love the Annie's brands. And this is something the whole family will eat. Next up, I got the Target brand up and up of children's Tylenol. Figure this would be great to have in the prepper pantry. I definitely don't want to be caught without medicine for my child if she does get sick. In case of an emergency, an evacuation, some type of shortage. Next up, I got some canned soups. I typically don't eat canned soup. But these were buy three, get one free, so I decided to go ahead and grab four. I got a couple different varieties, minestrone, New England clam chowder, and chicken and orzo with lemon. Even though we typically don't eat canned soups, I do think they are an important aspect of a prepper pantry. We definitely will eat them before the Best Buy date, just because I don't want to see any food go to waste. I've heard that obviously canned foods can last longer than their Best Buy date, but these pop top ones are a little bit more susceptible to going bad than the traditional canned tops. Next I got a bag of this Good & Gather, that's a Target brand, organic jasmine rice. I do try to buy organic rice whenever possible. This helps to minimize exposure to pesticides. The rice is problematic in general just because it does have high arsenic levels. Despite all that, rice still is a big staple in our family's diet. Next, I picked up a package of this daytime and nighttime medicine. It's Up and Up brand, which is a Target store brand, but it is the equivalent to the Mucinex. Neither my husband or I are big medicine takers, but we realized we had no medicine on hand when my husband woke up the other night and was digging through the medicine cabinet, so I wanted to pick up a box. This is definitely an area I need to work on in terms of prepping. Next up, I picked up two more of the Good & Gather organic pasta sauce jars. Pasta is a huge staple in our house, a huge favorite, and I always try and get organic pasta sauce. Once I started paying attention to the Best Buy dates, I realized that this is an item that I can definitely stock up on. Next, I picked up a bunch of canned goods, some peas, beans, chickpeas. Those are all the Good and Gather organic brand. Um, and I was shocked that these are good until mid-2024. And then some coconut milk, which is good until 2025. The annoying thing about these is, as you can see, they do not stack. I use all of these pretty regularly in recipes, minus the canned peas, but I thought it would be a good idea to keep some ve canned vegetables on hand. I've been having trouble finding canned coconut milk in stores, and I'm definitely noticing some shortages or empty shelves when it comes to the canned coconut milk, but look how long this lasts. So I am definitely going to be stocking up basically every time I see canned coconut milk. I'll just definitely grab several cans due to the super long shelf life. And then lastly, I picked up some paper bowls. Now I never buy paper bowls or paper plates or plastic cups. 
honestly, I am very much against them. I think they are extremely wasteful and bad for the environment. However, I think for emergencies, they are a good item to have on hand. I do find it hard as I am starting this prepping journey to find that balance between, you know, healthy, unhealthy foods, stuff like this, the eco-friendliness of products. If you have any suggestions or comments, please put them below. Like, subscribe. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.